right guys welcome back to my channel i am mark and welcome to a new episode of my control let's play so where were we we were just we just activated the turntable here and um yes we need to go deeper into the prime candidate program There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. I think Maybe I just did. There's a control panel nearby. Oh, I think I already did it, Jesse. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I played this part already, but the footage was super laggy, and I don't. I, I'm trying to stop to put out videos that are like low frame rates. I think I figured what was the issue, so let, hopefully this will work for this for this recording. I, I've lost like one hour of gameplay, so I need I needed to redo all all the uh, these missions and some of the side quests too. But hey. Basically, I think the issue was is because um, I'm playing on the on an SSD SSD drive, and I'm recording on the on an old uh, hard disk drive, and it, it's pretty old. So I, I think the um, the hard drive is faulty. So I'm gonna record directly on the the SSD and. Um, Move the footage for storage on the hard disk drive after, after the video is out, I guess. Damage boost. Okay, perfect. So hopefully, the frame rate should be should be good on this one. And all the other ones actually. <clears throat> so I need to power the elevator here. Dodge efficiency, no. seen me done the Langston runaways right but I need to redo all of them and we all know that was hard for me to get the letters I will do it off camera for sure one.
and uh, also while I was redoing this section I realized I, w I missed some of the cool videos maybe I can show them on screen uh, right now I've seen that already right the heck is this? What if I don't want the big chair? What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Meg! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. Ooh. Cool guy. Like the videos for kids. Celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first caller. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If we found out, brother. The men in the suits, they told me it was an industrial act. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. The ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. Mm -hmm. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, well, please watch the language caller at maybe 2 a.m. But we're still a family show. See you at family show. I'm sorry. It's just my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. <laughs> So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? <laughs> the same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction. Whoa. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America mm. overnight. We'll be right back. Oh, cool new video. 
there is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These are yeah. toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Oh my God. There's no cool animation with this one. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Oops. Of course. Dylan has so much. But he's he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. Oh my God. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? <laughs> Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I know. Oh. Him. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold. They are talking about the, the scientist he killed. Poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not I cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Mm -hmm. Asking people questions that can't be answered. Is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you just call it me? In ordinary, we had a nosebleed needle. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something 
like a dog. Jesus. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need... Uh-oh. What is the picture again? Let's see what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Jesus. projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Thomas Zane. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s. There's Jane also Thomas the actor, Zane. Thomas Jane. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself? No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. <laughs> it's this... I feel an emptiness. A yearning for something that's It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Talking about Dylan's being uplifting, dead. right? That's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there, agents from I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. 
Dolores wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I huh. have to leave soon. They're talking about this building here, I'm sure. A specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Oh, Jesse, yeah? you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. It's heavy stuff. here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable mud for <laughs> levitation ammo efficiency what the heck is this immediately I'm setting up a new department dimensional research in the research sector uh, transferring the slide projector there that's where my focus will be now the ordinary site remains as is we'll be back to I, I don't know when darling took the projector to the research sector he dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. Jesus. That's where we go next. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa. Search starting. Completed face of the enemy. Finish tango. Right. Oh, 
but I think that's going to be a good stop, this is a good spot to stop here for today. Sorry if this is a shorter video than usual, but hey, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. See you guys on the next one. Bye bye.